All right, guys, so I just made it back from uh, Big Bear Lake, California for the Rentober event, and uh, I just want to say the car did really good. So it was about a five hour drive there, five hour drive back, around 500 miles, and um, yeah, car did great, didn't overheat, no issues came about. As for me not filming an after movie, so I'm sure you guys are expecting this video to be like a recap of that whole trip. And I hate to break it to you, but I didn't really film enough to make a full video off of it. I was more just uh, enjoying the whole weekend, just trying to live in the moment and shit. So also to be frank with you guys, I'm not really used to filming like this around people. So yeah, I was a little bit camera shy. I didn't really want to walk around vlog style around the whole event. I was just trying to enjoy the weekend, spend time with the homies, and uh, it was really good. Moving forward, I do want to start filming like in public a little bit more, so whenever I go to like a drift event, uh, car shows, whatever the case be, I need to get past that fear of filming in public because I mean, right now I am used to just filming in the garage for like DIY videos, but uh, I'm sure you guys would like to see more content other than just what's in here, you know, so. Next event, I will make a point to actually film it. And without further ado, let's get to the main topic of today. So, got a huge package in the mail last night. This came from Hard Motorsports, and to be honest, it took about two months to get here. But what's inside of it is a rear seat delete. So, this is actually meant for a coupe, and I am being a little bit of a guinea pig to see if it's going to work on the sedan or not. I talked to somebody that has it on the coupe, and he was able to get the measurements, like width and height-wise, and everything seems like it's going to work out perfect. Might need a little bit of trimming, but... Overall, it should fit. But unfortunately for me, I do have a cage. So unfortunately, this back section is gonna have to come out before I could actually get the back of the rear seat delete in. So start with that. I'll put you guys on time-lapse and get this started. All right, so I basically had to pull off the wheels because the cage bolts up from the inside right there and there's not enough clearance to get to those nuts. But right now it should be pretty easy to just uh, use an impact, bust off those nuts and pull these bolts out. From there, I just have to remove these two on this side and then two on that side and this whole x section should come out. And I just wanna say this rear seat delete should really clean up the whole back section of the car. So this is actually one of my biggest pet peeves of the interior right now. So I don't like having exposed wires visible and all this shit going on right now. So that should help a ton. All right, guys, so we're good to go to try to start installing this. Um, I was worried I'd have to unbolt this section and get clearance to actually push this forward, but it wasn't the case. It was actually able to come out pretty easily. The only thing I messed up when I made this cage was, as you can see, the tab is on the upside on that side, and then over here it is flipped. So ideally you want those on the same direction. I kind of have it like cross braced in that way, but it makes it a little bit more difficult to remove. But in my case, I actually came out Pretty good, so. All right, so I guess start with the bottom half and then we could uh, mess with the top, so. Throw that there for now.
Right, so now that I got the bottom section pretty much in place, um, the only thing I noticed that's probably gonna be different on the coupe is, probably won't notice this section, but I mean, nobody opens these back doors anyways, so once these are closed, who's gonna be able to tell realistically? But uh, other than that, I think the only thing I really have to do is make a little notch so that the wiring could uh, clearance right there and that will go all the way down. Probably same on that side, and also, since this car is pretty much gutted at this point, I might cut this uh, seat latch off just to make better clearance right here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, let's see. Can't really see it in this section, but it sits completely flush with the back of the metal right there, so that's good. And I just threw in the back section, and it was roughly mocked up. Nothing's bolted down yet, but... Um, so the difference between the coupe and sedan is this: the coupe will come out further and probably meet flush with that. Um, unfortunately, I am left with that little bit of a gap. I could live with it. Um, as for the top, that all lines up perfectly. And I mean, once I get the cage in, I could probably use these two bolts to kind of draw that in. And I don't think that'll look too bad. So it's kind of the plan for it. Uh, so I just trimmed this off camera for uh, both sides of the wiring, and this is all Gucci now. Um, I just checked the kit, and apparently it comes with some Velcro, some little tabs that cover up this section, which I'll cover in a second. Um, some rib nuts, hardware, and some like little plastic clips to run along the top right here to replace basically those, and that'll hold the top section on. So basically where I'm at right now is I gotta find, I'm gonna show you, that little stud right there drill through and add a rib nut to it so instead of trying to measure it out i'm pretty much just going to tap around right here until i find the metal drill and then if that makes it through then obviously add the rib nut and that will be basically what holds all this together after that all i have to do is get some of that velcro add to the bottom of that and that will basically hide the hardware okay so good thing they include the little covers to go over the hardware because Yes, I had a double drill and yes, I'm not perfect. So it is what it is. Now I just got to drill that out to a quarter inch to uh, receive this M4 rib nut. Also, just want to know, like on the smaller threaded uh, rib nuts, you don't want to crank down too tight, otherwise you will like just pull the threads all the way out. So anything like an M5, M4, M3, you don't really have to go that tight on it. Just barely snug it up and that should be enough to uh, hold that in there. So that's basically just about how to install the bottom portion of this. Um, I'm going to finish off on that side on my own and I'll report back after I get some hardware bolted down. Okay guys, so everything's bolted down now. I got the little panel on that side and basically what I, all I did was add four pieces of Velcro match it on a little retaining piece and basically just uh, slap that baby on and that's good. So bottom section's complete, now time to move to the back section. Right, so to start out on the back section, I believe all I have to do is remove these four little retaining clips for the little parcel shelf and I'm just going to pry that off with uh, basically these, these two tools and then um, from there, I think I'm gonna put like some masking tape all the way across and mark basically reference where uh, that is. So once I put the back section on, I'll be able to drill right there and I'll know basically where the hole needs to go. So same with the bottom section on the top you're gonna to have to clearance for the wiring harness on both sides 
That's just little half moons and that should be enough to clearance it. Other than that, I have the holes drilled up there and this should be ready to be bolted in. And lastly, all I have to do is clearance for the roll cage right here. So as you can see, two bolts, two bolts, it's pretty much dead in the middle where that cuts off. So basically, I think all I want to do is cut like a little half moon right there to cover the bar pretty much. So I'm going to draw that out. I mean, I have a pretty good idea of where that's going to sit. So pretty much like right there, like that. Cut that out and it should fit. And then kind of try to wedge the cage behind, bolt it up, and then put this on. All right, guys. So it's next day now. Um, I'll fill you in where I left off yesterday. Basically, I started running out of time, so I just wanted to bust it out, get everything knocked out. But I mean, you guys pretty much got the gist of how to install it. So after that last clip, I basically all I had to do was uh, trim this up a little bit more to get the cage to work right. But um, yeah, everything's in right now. Got the top tabs all on, so that's secure. Um, one thing I have noticed, I haven't drove the car yet, but I think this is gonna cause rattles. So if I kind of bump it like that, you could kind of see how that could be a problem. So. I think moving forward, I'm going to get like some uh, felt tape and run that on the back side back here where the top and bottom meet up. I think that'll help with that noise. And then also kind of where the metal meets this tab down here, also run some felt tape. So I'll get the, all that knocked out later, but um, everything's fitting really good. I think this looks freaking bitching. Um, cage went in kind of difficult but she's in yeah let me know what you guys think i think it's a really nice uh, aesthetic to it definitely cleans up the rear of the car a lot better than what it looked like especially with all the exposed wires for like a fuel pump and all that but um i guess the only grab i could really say is that uh that doesn't look perfect and also this doesn't meet up to the chassis well but i mean it's not like anybody's going back in the back seat anyways so like from this perspective i don't think anybody will be able to tell i think it looks clean so yeah, that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Um, right now, I am just working on this Mark IV door panel for Jordy. Basically, the whole uh, center section came apart, so I have glue on the underside, and I rigged up this freaking ghetto system to kind of hold it up, let that sit for like 24 hours, and hopefully it holds. I mean, Mark IV door panels are notorious for that. Other than that, next week's video, I did get some more parts from Hard Motorsports, so... Got this HVAC Delete, which will turn into a gauge display. Also got a um, glove box Delete. This thing weighs nothing, so make it a little bit cleaner and shed some weight, so I'm all about that. And basically the plan with all that is I want to pot the dash and do a full suede flock job on it. And um, basically I have to integrate the glove box Delete first. And then I also think I want to do uh, the flock on this section and the back section, so... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it'll look a lot better than this uh, shiny leather. A little bit more of a motorsport vibe to it. So yeah, stay tuned for next video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.